We're bringing the IoT show at Microsoft Build where we did tons of announcements for Azure IoT. Let's go walk through the IoT booth and talk to some of the PMs and devs about these latest announcements. Thanks for watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. We're here at Microsoft Build 2019. I'm in front of the IoT booth and we have Pamela with us today. Pamela, hey, how are you doing? Doing great. We've been hacking all day long. So what do you yeah. have going on here? So we are running the IoT Hackspace. Uh, the IoT Hackspace, we have five different hands-on labs where uh, developers can get first early look into different hardware, to uh, different yeah. uh, new offerings that we have. So we're, uh, we're having a lot of fun here. So, so typically, how are developers actually taking what we're offering? So we're, they're developing with Azure IoT yep. Edge, Azure Sphere, tons of things. Yeah. What has been the reaction from developers? They're super excited just being able to get their hands on things. I also think a lot of the developers have been giving feedback about this is the first time they played with uh, Azure IoT Central, and yeah. that it's super easy to get started with. Okay. And since every lab, we've had a different type of hardware, it's amazing to see that experience with different types of hardware, and when you connect it to Azure IoT IoT Central, how quickly cool it is to still get it uh, oh. up and running. Awesome. Yep. Always good to connect with developers. Yep. We're going to talk about other things, IoT, in a minute. Thanks, Pamela. Bye, Talk to you soon. See you Bye. guys. <laughs> Let's go, guys. So here we have like all these developers doing these hacks. We have tons of hardware, uh, cameras, and actual sensors and so forth. Uh, and actually some of these sensors are connected to IoT Edge devices. So here we have the IoT Edge booth, and we have Dave. Dave? Hi there. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Very tired. So what do you have going on here? So we've actually got three things that we're kind of highlighting here. Yeah. We've got, um, essentially on the demo board, we've got a Lenovo server that's running on the edge. Okay. Um, where it's got a pretty beefy GPU attached to it. Okay. Um, so it's running an ML model. Uh -huh. That is 16 streams, 16 dumb video streams all at once. On one machine? On one machine. So what right. makes it possible? Because actually running machine learning is, is hard. You were talking about running machine learning on an actual IoT device, right? Yes. So we've already got the model defined. Yeah. And we, all we are doing is we've defined the model and we're bringing that down as an ML module on the edge. And that's really kind of what the feature that we provide for people okay. is the ability to take an ML model that you've defined up in the cloud and bring it down to the edge. Okay. And have it run with a lower latency so you're not dragging everything up to the cloud. You've reduced the amount of data that's going up to the cloud. You've also got a higher performance because everything's local awesome. on premises. So IT Edge is that platform that allows us to do that. There's another announcement as well. I think we already demoed that in an IoT show, which is about being uh, running on Kubernetes. So yes. a cluster of devices Yes, this here. is the same cluster of devices that's on the show okay. um, that we had. And it's it's mostly here for show right now because my networking is not working very well. Uh, um, <laughs> the perks of the being at an yeah. event live, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this would be a bare metal cluster. Okay. So we've got four commodity devices that are running a Kubernetes cluster. Okay. And that Kubernetes cluster, then we can actually take this IoT Edge runtime and run that as part of the Kubernetes cluster. Okay. So you get the same functionality of Azure IoT Edge that you'd have on a regular device, but now it's running a Kubernetes cluster, which gives us so all the uh, benefits, all of, the benefits of a Kubernetes yeah. cluster, like uh, high availability, um, the ability Kubernetes can manage the, uh, the modules, the awesome. health of the, of the modules for us. Awesome. And I also got another thing that we're featuring, yeah. um, which is the Custom Vision AI camera, which yes. has been generating a lot of excitement and this is a product that actually runs IoT Edge okay. locally. On so that's the a dev kit. That is the dev kit. Yeah. That's the mod. That's the thing, and it's running Azure IoT okay. Edge. Awesome. And you can actually build your own cognitive service model, vision cognitive service model, export them, have them run on that camera to do fancy things with the images. Correct. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. Plenty of announcements on IoT Edge. Uh, we'll get some more right now on IoT Central. Hey, Sarah. How are you Hi. doing? Hi. Good. Good to have you here. Yeah. So here we are in front of the Azure IoT Central booth. What's going yes. on here? Yeah, well, it's been really exciting uh, because on Monday we showed the Starbucks uh, yes. partnership, yeah, which is really exciting to see them using Central. Yep. So we've had a lot of excitement and people stopping by the booth. Um, and here we have this demo of an avocado farm. Okay. So we have these couple of real devices here that are just sending data, as you can see. Um, 
we have a couple new things that people are really excited about as well. Char, so, uh, like this is some custom customization abilities. Okay. So yeah. you can customize now to say like this is our Haas Avocado Farm application. You can apply your own branding when you're yep. building an IoT Central yep, application. Yeah, exactly. Now. Nice. Okay. Um, we also have let's see. So when I'm going into some of my device templates, yep. we now have different. Uh, rules for actions and we have embedded flow okay. here so now you can access and build out so your now Microsoft you're editing flow. Microsoft flow within your access yes. central application nice yeah, yeah. love it um, we also have been talking a lot about plug and play mm -hmm. uh, so we're working really closely with a bunch of the plug and play stuff cool. and are excited to see some of that will start coming in here soon nice. as well yep. yeah there's gonna be like a full end-to-end -end experience yeah. For, for onboarding your devices into your IoT application, IoT Central being the, the, the application itself, and yeah. then plug and play allowing you to seamlessly connect your devices, customize the IoT Central app. This story is starting to actually you know, close and, and being ready. Yeah. Love yeah. it. <laughs> it's awesome, exciting. Sarah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go check out actually plug and play down there. See you there. <laughs> and we are now at the Azure IoT Hub. Britain, how are Hi. you, man? Olivia, good to see you. Good Happy to see conference. you too. So what's going on with IoT Hub these days? Uh, we have so much going on. Uh, what I think we should probably talk about with the audience, though, is uh, IoT Plug and Play. Yes, you know, oh, heard about that. Be, yeah, kind of. It's been in a few places. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And really what that's about is our simplification of IoT. It's a big theme and push for us on both the platform yeah. and IoT Central. We focused a lot on the solution side with Central. Correct. It's making it simple and easy to add your solution and get that mm -hmm. running uh, without knowing a lot of the internal details. Yeah. What we haven't solved and are going to start to solve is the device problem. Yeah. So do you know about this device problem? Yeah, devices Devices are hard to do, right? It's like the code on the device is hard, but also all these various devices are sending their own type of data in their own formats. You have to make sense of them in the cloud, and it's kind of hard. Right. It's embedded developments is hard. Also, it's locked to the solution. You develop yeah. it once. It's kind of with that solution to that customer. You can't yeah. reuse it. Plug yeah. and play intends to really help solve that. To so really, how? if you look at this slide, yeah. you want that. And by the way, what's beneath that is uh -huh. the code you want to write. Right? This is the code yep. you don't want to write. Exactly. And yep. what we're doing is you as a developer making sure you can write the things that drive your business, make your clients and your bosses happy. Okay. So let's Show take a look. Let's we... take a look. Okay. Show us a bit about what to expect or what developers okay. should expect. So it all starts with certification. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to give you a sneak peek here. This is actually live. Uh, let me jump over to it. Uh, so PowerPoint's not helping out here. Got a Okay, so if you look here at the device catalog, you'll see at the front page, so catalog.azureiotsolutions.com. Okay, so that's you'll live see, now. It's live now. If you okay. go to the front page, we prioritize what we're calling certified ready devices for plug and play. So plug and play isn't released, yeah. but we have uh, 17 launch partners. You, you have to expect you this the logo. logo, right? 17 it's launch logo. partners, about 26 devices. Now you can go and you can view the device. Yeah. So I have this one here. Libby, you're going to help me with that. Okay. Uh, and what you'll notice in these pages that are plug and play enabled, they're certified ready. Okay. Uh, is that you can actually see what is we, what we call a capability model. So you can Got download it. this. The capability okay. model is what drives the modeling language uh, that we use for IoT plug and play, which is about describing capabilities. As a developer, these are just interfaces. Okay. So this device comes with a uh, accelerometer okay. and a bunch of things. You're going to describe that. Let's take a look at okay. that. So we're going to look uh, over quickly into VS Code. Okay. So you can see here it's a JSON LD file. If you know that, it's based on open standards. Okay. And you can see here what we're describing. Uh, once we get through just the main device information, so the name of the uh, name of the device, dash cam something, and, and you actually then have a model version okay. and a place uh, that identifies the model, the firmware of that device supports. Okay. And the key thing for developers, as you're going to see here, they're interfaces. So just like Got a developing it. concept is for the telemetry, for example, latitude, longitude, altitude. These are just interfaces. Got it. What's that mean? What that means is you, as the central developer or the IoT platform developer, can take that file. You can build your application, build your rules, Got everything it. you need without even having that device. So basically, so. as a developer, you know the model, you've been finding that device on that catalog, and you expect that data to come through, right? That's right. Let me Got show it. you something even more exciting. So if we jump over to IoT Central. So this is a developer version. Uh, this is in our, okay. our dev cluster. It's not released. We're releasing okay. all the plug and play stuff yeah, later yeah. in the year, uh -huh. uh, including this access here. What you can see here is actually, instead of the modeling capability I had before, Okay. I see device capability device model. Capability this is the plug models. and play okay. JSON file that you have. Okay. Here's the same one. It's dash cam 801. Okay. 8010. And you can see I have the same interfaces that I saw okay. in 
the dash cam, but in a graphical form. So I can okay. actually use and understand them in IoT Central And directly. I didn't have to do that manually. Didn't have to days. do that manually. Love it. Now, okay. if I go to Device Explorer, I didn't have to create this template. Okay. So before, you had to create a template. You had to get every little uh, data stream out. Okay. Now I've got it here. And I've got a simulated device. But before you as the developer even purchased that device, you're here you reasoning with it. That. You're seeing the, the, the stream going. So go ahead and plug that one in for me. Let me do that. So this is one of our, uh, this is one of our launch partners. Uh, right. They've been in our private preview. They've been great, ASCII. Uh, and they have this dash cam device that they enabled for plug and play. Okay. Uh, it's got dual cameras. It runs Android. Uh, they developed the uh, plug and play code in okay. our C SDK. Uh -huh. So plug and play is not uh, something new you have to learn. If you know IoT Hub and you know the device code, uh, our, our SDK family, you'll get updated SDKs that'll let you take advantage of plug and play. Got it. So this guy will power on. You can see a little bubble here. It'll say uh, starting. Okay. With Android, it takes a little while to start here. So we'll certainly cut that part right here. We can we can do a bunch of cuts, right? Especially when it's yeah, yeah. And here you see the little bubble that says that the IoT, the cloud agent, is starting. Yeah. So that's running the CSDK, connecting to DPS, mm -hmm. getting provisioned into IoT Central, this app that we see here. That exchange then between the device yeah. and the service that actually sends. This is my model. Okay. It finds the model that we've uploaded here. Uh -huh. And once it has uh, the connection established, we're sometimes with there. the dev version of IE, we have, to, we have to do a manual refresh here. Without you touching device code. Let's go. Take a little while. Back to our, our dashboard. Minute, Without you touching the device code. The device just appeared there. You have it there. And it knew, I central knew where to put it in the application because knew of where the to put the it. model. If I awesome. created a dashboard, the dashboard would work. That device is ready to go. So plug and play. Plug and play. You with central, literally. with plug and play and a supported device out of our Azure certified uh, product, Got you're it. ready to go with no code. Awesome. Britain, All right. thanks a lot. You bet. See you later. Bye. Uh, let's go see some other intelligent edge here. Uh, we're going to go on to that uh, fixtures uh, shop. And we have Angie here, and Angie is going to tell us everything about this intelligent edge solution here. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> hey, Angie, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. So what's going on here? So what we've got here is a solution developed in collaboration with Kroger and Sunrise Technologies okay. that allows us to detect out-of-stock events in a store. Okay. So say I'm going into a store and I want to get something, say I want some uh, frosted shredded wheat. Yeah. But someone comes ahead of me and takes the last one. Yes. That's kind of sad. Now I don't have any snacks. Yep. <laughs> and um, so retailers lose 8% of their sales because people like me walked up, tried to find something, and it wasn't and, there. And they just walk away. Exactly. Yeah. And you so, don't know as a store manager until someone actually manually and, comes and and visualize and sees that and actually fixes yeah. it. Right? Exactly. Someone has to walk the shelf and make a note and get something done. Yeah, yeah. So what we've done is we've got the system that uses this commodity camera found okay. in the store. And again, if I grab something again, you know, it picks the last one and you can see yeah. the out-of-stock event. It's added another out-of-stock okay. event. And then an alert. It's an instant. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a less than half a second to get the processing done. Okay. And then that's not the best part. So these, so the, the software can tie these coordinates Yes. to uh, the planogram of the store down okay. to the inch. Mm -hmm. And they can say, oh, we noticed that you're out of frosted flakes or frosted shredded wheat, mm -hmm. and send an alert to a worker's phone to bring those specific products out of the back room Got and it. restock them. Got it. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yes. Easy for the, for the store manager and so on. What's the technology? You talked about the camera here. Yeah. What's the technology behind what's happening there, right? Yeah, so what this is is, again, a, a regular IP camera but the entire model and processing is running on what's called a data box edge. It's a one-use server that runs IoT Edge that okay. we've actually got running backstage. Okay. So we collected the data, trained the model using Azure ML, taking advantage of the hyperscale okay. power of the cloud, mm -hmm. and then used IoT Edge to stamp out a deployment on a data box edge, got it. and then it all runs locally. So being yeah. local, actually, because you have customer images and yeah. so on, you guarantee you know, the, yes. uh, the, the fact that the images are staying on that box, in that shop, they don't go out, they're not shared, they're anonymous, and you are able to actually do that. Thanks to IoT Edge on that, uh, that I want to Absolutely. Device. Thanks to IoT Edge, we can make sure that, and the Edge, uh, Intelligent Edge, we can make sure that customer data doesn't leave their network if they don't want it to. 
So it's pretty impressive actually talking about like technology, developers trying technology and then actually a customer deploying a solution using that technology as demoed here. Yeah. Sanjay, it was awesome. Thanks so much, yeah. Thanks for being on the show Thanks today. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Guys, thanks for watching. We're going to have like plenty of, t of things on the IT show coming up. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.